So next would be the case for private and hybrid cloud. So it's become almost, um, you know, a, a heretic to say, uh, but private cloud and hybrid cloud architectures still have a critical role, especially for sensitive workloads or where governance, compliance, or data sovereignty matters. Now, public clouds have had their issues. Uh, you know, here today, you know, for the last few years, the private cloud options out there are very, very good, whether, it proprietary, whether it's proprietary or going with some sort of an open source standard. And so pushing private clouds as an architectural option, I always thought was going to be a good idea because in many cases, it doesn't make sense to move all these assets onto infrastructure you don't own because you can't control the cost that we just talked about, you know, hidden issues, uneconomical, you know, viability of the system, things like that. And your ability to leverage private clouds, which in many cases have the capabilities of public clouds other than the, you know, scalability because you're limited by the number of servers that you own, which make up your private cloud is going to be a much more viable option. And we're seeing that more so today, including the ongoing, you know, push into AI. Uh, in the majority of cases that I'm looking out there, it's uneconomically viable to put those workloads, uh, you know, those models into the public cloud providers and pay for the fees there. It's going to be a much better option for you to deploy that on a, on a uh, uh, private cloud platform. And we're seeing that more today.